Okay, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video. In this video, real quick, we're going to be going over uh, the conversion project that I did to convert this previously non-split phase inverter to a split phase inverter. Uh, just to recap, obviously, some inverters that have been sold this year are not true split phase inverters. And uh, that has caused some confusion with some people who've purchased these and don't understand why they're not getting split phase or don't have a split phase wire on the front here. Uh, now before I go any further, I want to remind you to head over to GenetrySolar.com where you can find inverters like this as well as spare parts for your power jack inverters. And if you want to get a hold of me, toll free 833 Genetry. The easiest way to get a hold of me is through text. You can text that number. So I completed a conversion of this previously non-accessible split phase inverter to a true split phase inverter. Required removing and replacing this charger board here with a split phase charger board. This is the latest version. So this is a split phase charger board running L1 and L2 into the charger board rather than previously having the uh, neutral line as well as the L2 line coming in here. So that was changed. The fuse and breakers were swapped. So this was over here. Now they've been swapped so that the charging function is still doable. And that's why we have a, this leads to the charging function or the input. And then the glass fuse holder, like PowerJack normally does, it leads to the uh, L1 of the transformer, which hops over to this point right here. And the neutral, which is the end right here, is shared with this neutral wire right here that runs straight from the transformer. And then L2, you can obviously see L2 is down here at the bottom. That's normally where it should be. And L1 is right there up top. Again, normally where it should be. So in all, the conversion took about 15 minutes. This unit does work just fine. In split phase, both lines are conditioned up here on the charger board. So basically, all we did was we replaced the board, got rid of neutral on the charger board where it previously was, and then just rewired the front. It does require some soldering and uh, some wires, uh, a couple of wires that are required in order to patch into, obviously, this front here. Now, you could get away with using this end here if you wanted to, not worry about that. However, I like the cleaner look to have the whole block and generate the panel or uh, power up the panel. Uh, so, yeah, it, you know, I'll do a more detailed look later, but I just wanted to show you that uh, this conversion is definitely possible does not affect the performance of the inverter. Some of you are reporting that you have this style here, so you're all set. But I did acquire this split phase uh, board from PowerJack, as well as I already had the wires. I was able to make the conversion myself. It did not take that much. If you're interested in this conversion, you're not comfortable modifying your inverter, I can do this for the cost of the replacement parts and shipping. Uh, otherwise, I'm hoping to be able to sell kits to be able to convert these as well as provide instructions on how to convert them at your own risk, of course. So, we are working towards a solution. Now, PowerJack, as of this video, has stopped making the non-split phase uh, inverters. As far as the larger inverters, like the 6K and 8K inverters, those have discontinued. That doesn't necessarily mean that the ones you buy today off of eBay are going to be true split phase, so make sure you ask the seller if it's a true split phase inverter. If you're unsure, I do in fact sell these inverters as well that are true split phase inverters. So I hope this video helped a little bit give you an idea of what's going on. There is a solution. It's not an easy solution. I know it requires time and money, but it is a solution. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, obviously let me know, 833-GENITRY or genitrysolar.com. And take care.